like 60 different ways to kill people. <laughs> I'll just give you a cat update. This is my library, by the way. This one is one of the new designs. Have you guys read this series? I look like an Easter egg. <laughs> Hey guys, and welcome to a new weekly reading of vlog. I think this is the first one that I'm actually going to be putting up since I started vlogging again, uh, because I have been vlogging a little bit like the past two weeks, I would say, but every single time I would try and edit it and then realize that I hated it. That said, I do already want to start with a book update, and I wanted to quickly talk about the book sleeves that Femke makes as well. This one is one of the new designs and the link will be down below, so shameless self-promotion of the week. If you are looking for a good and sturdy book sleeve, I can definitely recommend them. I have quite a few. We support our friends on this channel. <laughs> and the link is down below. She, I think, has 17 different like designs on there, so do check that out. But the book that I wanted to talk about is in here. I have picked up a secondhand Dutch book series based on a TV show called Het Huis Anubis. In English, that's The House of Anubis. That's a different show, but uh, it's based on the Dutch version. And I've been reading the books. Uh, this is the fifth part. I have read the first four already and I'm about halfway done with this one. And that's most of everything that I've read this month, and I'm really enjoying it. But that said, I have one more book to show you. I actually listened to the audiobook of this one, and I listened to most of it on my drive to my own place, which is about two hours, and that is The Girl the Sea Gave Back. I have finished it. It is a book by the same author who read Sky in the Deep. However, I do have to say that this one was not my favorite. I definitely prefer Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. But what I did really love is that some of the characters that are in that book are also in, in this one, which I did not expect, and I love them so much. I was very excited to see them. I did not care that much about the main characters, which was weird, but still, it, it was a pretty good book. So yeah, that's what I've been reading. I've also been playing a shit ton of Animal Crossing again, because I've picked it up once again to sort of entirely terraform my island. <laughs> I think I can show you a little bit of my island if you would like that. You know what? We're gonna do that. I'm gonna grab my switch, which is right over there, and I will show you a little bit of what my island looks like. Okay, so I hope you can see it. I am... Um, this is my entrance. Yes, there's there's blue roses here. This was supposed to be a trade. Here's my little Melba. I'll zoom up so you can see a little bit. Then you go up here, and basically what I wanted to show you was um, this area. This is Ellie's house. She is my elephant. Um, and let's quickly move here. This is my library, by the way. Did you know? Isn't it adorable? I love it so much. But I really wanted to show you this area. This really, really, I'm really, really proud of that. That's Marshall's house up there. How adorable is this? Like, how beautiful does this look? And then to this side is Molly's house. Oh, Molly's right here. How adorable is my little Molly? But yeah, this is the style that I want to sort of incorporate into my game a little bit. Um, like I said, I'm still, it's still a work in progress. Um... This is part of my orchard, which I still have to finish, but it does look great if you look from look at it from this angle. And if you go up here, this is supposed to be my sort of lavender garden. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> and here I want to make a sort of greenhouse. So yeah, this is actually, I think, what I want to show you for now. If you want to see a complete island tour, just let me know. I would love to film one for you guys. Um, yeah. So it's a little later. I put my hair up because I'm actually cleaning my bookshelves. First thing I did was get everything out. So this is all, all my extra stuff and there's... I don't know why, but there's extra stuff over here. Um, um, so that's what I did. Also, um, I had some 
extra books to put in. So um, we're going to have to be doing with little rows from now on um, because I really don't like this situation because it's so much more difficult to grab them. And I have like a series that I want in sort of the book section. Like these are my books that I kind of want to, I don't know, I'm not sure if I want to keep them. Uh, some of them I do have to slot in. Um, so basically, um, like I want to slot this one in. This is a um, detective, so we're going to slot that one in. I want to slot in the bone season. Uh, I kind of want to get rid of this one, but I'll slot it in for now. Definitely not getting rid of this one. I have to get the first book on this from this one, which is... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but I want to slot that in. I have no idea why this book is over here. That should be there. Um, Mocking Jay needs to find a place, but it's probably with the white shelf. Also, can you see how damn dusty that is? Um, this is a poetry book that I have to slot in. I still have to read that one. I have to slot that in. This is actually not mine. This is my dad's, so I'm going to keep that down. This I want to donate. I I don't know. Have you guys read this series? Like, I really don't know what I should do with this. I think I have the first one and the third one. Is this the third one? I think it's the third one. Doesn't really say, but um, let me know what you guys think of this. I mean, it has these edges. I once bought this second hand, both of these actually. Um, and then with this one, I don't even have the first one. Um, but I think I might just incorporate it um, in here because it's easier. This one I am definitely taking out because I'm never going to read that. Uh, and this one is a borrowed book, so I don't want to put this in there. And then I have some study books, and these are, like, this is the series that I want to slot in, so we're going to do that. <sighs> Wish me luck. Oh, I forgot a dragon over there. <laughs> anyway, let's, um, let's continue. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, I still have it um, by color, or at least approximately by color. I know that these were supposed to go here, but I also want to keep the heights sort of nice. Um, and then I have my white here, and then I have a couple that have like a very strange color. Like this one is completely silver. This one is like a bluish white, but like it's not blue, but it's also not white. And this one is like a... How can you even describe it? It's like a grayish, I think it actually comes across pretty nicely. It's like a grayish white, but also like a brown, but not brown enough to go with the browns. And you go there. <laughs> and then here I have my shelf full of classics that I kind of want to fill um, when the time's right. So, and other than that, like I have my series in there now, and this is basically like the black and white books. And then here's where truly white starts. I actually really like what it looks like. And now I'm gonna, actually take all the books out and clean the shelves. I wanted to keep them all, get them nice in there first. Um, I might actually try and figure to get these to this side and then these here so that I can have a couple of books that sort of show um, because I do really like how that looks, but I'm happy that I no longer have like stacks here. I'll, uh, I'll show you once I'm done and I figured everything out. <laughs> so it's quite a lot later, but I am done. It is cleaned again. Everything is back in. And it just looks a lot better in my opinion. It's always such a hassle, but I'm always so happy when it's done. Good morning, everyone. Today it is Thursday and I don't think I've logged anything yesterday, but um, that's okay. I think I did mention that I finished um, the audiobook for uh, The Girl the Sea Gave Back. I have started a new audiobook and I have the physical book here for Warrior of the Wild by Tracia Liebenseller. I've been listening to that whenever I'm playing Animal Crossing and I am now 103 pages in. So that's going steady. Uh, I'm on chapter eight and so far it is really surprising me. Um, I really thought this would take a different turn and um, so far I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Also, <laughs> I started Midnight Sun. I actually wasn't like I was very excited when we got the news that it was going to be here and then it released and uh, I got the ebook and just wasn't as interested but now I I don't know I I'm interested to continue reading so I'm going to read that ebook also yes if you're wondering there's Animal Crossing on my TV 
I've been terraforming my island. Uh, like I said, I think I showed you guys a little bit of my island. I basically just listen to an audiobook and play Animal Crossing, which is the best combination there is. And yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs, grab another cup of coffee. I already had one, but uh, we need another one. So yeah, happy Thursday. Hey guys, it's a little bit later. I look like an Easter egg. <laughs> and I just filmed a video. I filmed a TBR-ish. I think you've already seen that. That has probably uh, gone up last week, so if it's up, I'll link it. Um, I'm gonna edit that now because I want to get it up tomorrow, I think. And I have also been continuing with Midnight Sun. <laughs> um, I am now approximately 177 pages in, so one third. And though it is not necessarily renewing and new, I am having a blast. Um, I feel like 12 or 13 again, which was when I... Hello! What is it? What are you doing? <laughs> she never sits here. <laughs> well, never say never, apparently. What was I saying? Okay, we can be in the frame together. It's okay. Hello? <whistles> How are you doing today? <laughs> She's a washer. Um, she also, um, I'll just give you a cat update. Mina, hello? Um, she has some bald spots here and there, so I'm a little bit worried. She also has a bald spot here, uh, because I checked out the bump that she has, but it's nothing serious. She's as loving as ever. Are you? That's coffee. Um, as I was saying, midnight's- be beautiful as i was saying midnight sun i'm enjoying it a lot i feel very nostalgic and i love getting what are you doing <laughs> okay but yeah i love just you know going back into the world and seeing it from a different point of view um, it just, yeah, I, I love it, and, um, I'm, I'm guessing I can give this one some attention now. <laughs> so I'm in bed, reading my book. She's standing on my desk. Sitting, rather. Nina! Yeah, she doesn't hear me either. She's as dev as a doornail, so... Don't... <sighs> what is she doing to my plants? What are you doing? I love you. Yeah, I do. Good morning. I'm in the car. I'm actually at the grocery store because I had to do some groceries. <laughs> fun, fun story. I actually, uh, this is the second time that I got here. Um, basically, <laughs> because I managed to forget something. I had to uh, basically return a package from my mom and <laughs> Um, I forgot to bring the package, so there's no returning it if you can't, you know, you didn't bring it. Yes, hello, Buitenbocht. My word, why is it so busy today? Anyway, um, I wanted to give you guys a quick reading update. I am currently, as I said, reading Midnight Sun, which I am loving, mostly for the nostalgic things than anything. Um, and I think I'm about like 300 pages in, like 250 to 300, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. Also, I've been continuing the audiobook for Warrior of the Wild. I couldn't get to it. I wanted to say The Shadows Between Us, but I'm not listening to that at the moment. I do love that book. I want to listen to it again. But um, I think I'm over halfway done at this point. I have three and a half hours left out of the eight, so in my logic mind, that would make it uh, more than halfway done. Sorry, by the way, about the unevenness. I am trying a different sort of setting for vlogging in the car, but um, yeah, I think this works better because you can see my full face. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, happy Friday and yeah, I'm, I'm nearly home or at least I'm going home. And uh, yeah, happy Friday. 
Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday today and I thought I would give you a reading update. So I am nearly done with Midnight Sun. I am about 580 pages in, so um, really getting to the end of it. And I wanted to, you know, get out a couple of thoughts. Um, I'll not spoil anything, though I do have to say that um, it's not necessarily a renewing story. The story itself, of course, is the same as Twilight, however you see it from Edward's perspective. This, in general, just really gives you new insight. I love going into his brain. Um, that sounds weird. But also one of the things I really enjoyed was a particular scene in the beginning when he meets Bella and he figures out like 60 different ways to kill people <laughs> to get away with it. And it was so much fun to read. I know, I'm a psychopath. I don't want to talk about it. Also. Though I have to say that the scenes with Bella are not necessarily um, new, it is interesting to see his point of view and his struggle with her being human. But what I really, really enjoy about this book is the insight to his relationships with his family. And especially the conversations that he has with Alice, I really, really love. But also with Carlisle and uh, Emmett see a lot more of Emmett than you do in the regular series or in the movies really and I love getting more of Emmett's character he's just like I imagined he would be but still I really really am enjoying that and in general I think it's a good book is it like the most renewing and most interesting read no but if you love Twilight like I have for years I know it's not the best book but it's really enjoyable and I think that if you love that one you'll probably also love this one that said, I've also been continuing with my audiobook, and that is of Warrior of the Wild, and I am on part four now. I'm nearly done. At least I find that nearly done. I'm nearly done. I'm on page 280 out of 329. I have Goodreads open so that I can see the amount of pages, and I am really enjoying it. Also, it has an embossing on the front. I am really enjoying it. I love the ebook, no, the audiobook that I'm listening to on Scribd. If you want to try out audiobook and if you want to try out Scribd, I do have a link down below where you get 60 days free so you can test it out. I also get a month free. This is something that Scribd just does, but can still benefit the both of us. It's like a win-win situation. But I'm really enjoying the audiobook of this and I think I'm tempted to just read the final part of this book. Though I'm also tempted to listen to the final part of this book. I don't know yet. We'll have to see how that goes. That said, that's what I've been reading so far. I haven't really finished any other books. I have also been working on, as you probably have seen already in my TBR, a new intro, which is basically the same intro but a different color. <laughs> a new outro, which is completely new. A new banner. And just in general, just sort of upping it a little bit. I am... I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm kind of been going back and forth, like, see what we like. That said, I've also started up my Instagram again, which hopefully I can get on right now. And yeah, that's basically what has been occupying my mind. Hey guys, it is Friday night now and Friday, it's Sunday. I desperately need sleep and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm gonna take off my makeup and go to bed. I finished the, I think I have 50 pages left of Midnight Sun and my opinion hasn't really changed from this morning when I talked about it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it thoroughly and um, yeah, I might rewatch the movie soon. <laughs> we'll see about that. Um, that said, I also finished a book. I finished the audiobook for Warrior of the Wild. I do have to say that I read the first, uh, no, not the first, the last two chapters because I got excited and I wanted to finish it. So that's what I did. I am really, really impressed by this book. I actually gave it four stars. Still have to write a review for it, but I really love the world and I also really love the monsters in this world, which was really renewing, I feel like. And in general, I just love Tricia Liebenzeller's writing. I loved all of her books. I think my favorite, uh, it's either The Shadows Between Us or Door of the Pirate King. Um, which was the first one that I read, but I will definitely, whatever she picks up or writes or, you know, releases, I will read because I'm a huge fan of her work. So yeah, really, really good book. I can definitely recommend it. Also very quick and I loved the audiobook. So 
if you want to pick up an audiobook, I can definitely recommend it. That said, I'm going to end the vlog here. I know it's probably a bit of a rambly, talkative vlog for the first one, but I've enjoyed being back and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and press that little bell icon so that you post notifications every single time that I or Femke posts a video. And I hope to be catching you guys in the next one. Bye!